We will start justifying against Sweden. I'm going to have to pause this and get rid of some of these messages, I think. Fifty six in Sweden, fifty six watt in Sweden. Oh, the um, tungsten. I'm looking at Finland from there. Yeah, there is a lot. It was it was it it was tungsten that they needed uh, from Sweden, wasn't it? That had the supplies there, and that's why they were they were keen to deal with them. Time for Barbarossa. I don't think there's any great gains to be made from that just yet. We get our supplies sorted. Oh, let's take a look at the aerial situation over the channel. This is nice. Okay, it's, it's green, which is what we wanted. What's the Navy situation over there? We've laid 25 mines here. We've sunk a ship with it, though, which is good. That is good. We're going to carry on working that over. Right, military factories. We are going to have a switch around as soon as the heavy fighters come on board. Uh, naval bombers, we're short of. Making the new fighters. Trucks. Tank tanks? <laughs> um, oh, we're trying to upgrade the tanks, that's why. That's why it looks so bad. Uh, that is a struggle. That really is a struggle. A lot of things not looking too bad. Towed anti-tank guns. One factory each. I, I do have uses for those, although we're not seeing them yet. We'll have a big stock, because I will at some point convert probably all my infantry to having anti-tank support and that'll be expensive so we'll, we'll keep, keep building those up close air support is fine for now how are we going to get across that sea and what we're going to need trucks i'll put them into trucks i think medium tanks uh, no, we're out of factories. Okay. We have civilian factories. Wow, we really... Oh, brilliant. Okay, let's get working on this. What's going to help? What's going to help? Let's take a look at the radar situation. I've got nothing down the channel. Okay. Right, let's, let's put this right because we want to be able to see what's coming up and down here as much as we can. We'll spread it out a little bit. I don't know that we can... It's for controlling sea spaces as well as it's not just for this. We'll get that going. I think I'm going to be stupid if I don't start doing that. Well, infrastructure. It's, it's only tungsten, isn't it? It's only the stuff that we can't get. Let's build some more refineries then. I'll have a couple more refineries going. How many can I put in one place? Is there a limit? Right, that should keep you busy for a while. By which point we'll have a plan for invading Britain. Yeah, Sea Lion, I, it's, it's, it depends when we can do it. Uh, I'm not expecting it to go quickly, hence why I haven't got any plans or anything yet. It's because it's a sea control that you have to build up. It's hard to actually get across the sea with the Royal Navy there. But if the Royal Navy... I'm, I'm destroying Norwegian submarines. Oh, I'm sinking something. It's good. The radar on the coast should help with, uh, with that. Advanced Ship Torpedo Launcher. Is that something I can put on the subs? See if it is, we're going to go and do that now. Home, homing torpedoes. I feel like I can ignore a lot of those things. Uh, did we get the bonuses for this? We did. And what about the aircraft? Well, there's no point building the old outdated stuff. So many things I want to go for. What have we got in the way of XP? Not a huge amount at the moment. That's because nothing much of ours is actually fighting where it matters. Uh, the armies are getting trained on this border, which is good. We didn't get a whole lot of aerial XP from this. Let's just stand down. Everybody stand down. You lot, can, uh, you lot can train up, actually. And these... I always feel like I should have, like, um... One load of... One air wing over each sea zone, or at each, each land zone, just to make sure I control it. 
what I'll do is I'm going to assign these to the pink army. And we can do that with some more as well. What have we got down here? They're assigned to army one. Army one is currently not doing anything. So let's assign them to, to this army. And give them some more ground support. And a lot more ground support. Because that's the army that's going to be going in. Looking good so far, I think. Which is my aircraft company? Let's take a look. I think I went for the fighter one because I wanted the uh, I like I wanted the fighters. It's the Messerschmitt. Yeah, I went for that. Trade interdiction is nearly completed. All right, let's just press on. I think we are. Uh, Kind of getting on top. I wanted 12 divisions here, didn't I? I've got eight. Right. What are we building? Motorized. Right, okay. Garrison troops. <laughs> I need... Okay, I need four. Hang on a sec. No, it's, it's one. Do it that way. Four divisions. And we'll set these in Hamburg. And then we'll, we'll, we want some more for Sweden. So I will want... I'll put an extra eight on. I don't think Sweden's going to be as important to defend. Because if I have the seas, then the Russians... Are they really going to... I don't know. Screw it. Let's put that up to 14, 16. We will need them. We will need them. Oh, you can change that every time you design a new aircraft? Oh, right. I didn't realise you could do that. Well, I mean, I, I knew you could change it, but uh, I didn't realise there'd be a great benefit in it. To be honest, it's it's something that I will probably change and then forget, so I'm going to leave it just exactly where it is. Um, but is there anything else we can do that's going to be beneficial in here? We've got the raiding fleet there. We've got the medium tank bonus there military staff army offense commerce raiding ground support expert we change that all weather bad weather penalty i don't think it's worth it for that rommel's in there infantry expert and army logistics for reduced attrition yeah that's that's for planning for the future and we've nearly gotten that right. Okay, let's get that done. That army is heading into place. Excellent. Modular construction. Let's leave that naval side. Well, should I demand Slovenia? I feel like I should go down to demand Slovenia now. What does um what does the Vienna award do? Does it give me any real details? Transylvania has a Hungarian majority and should right belong to our friends in Hungary. Uh, let's... I'm going to go with that. Go on, we'll do that one first. While we're just finishing off up here. And we're going to justify a war goal on Sweden. Conquer. Everywhere. I only have to select one though, don't I? 35 days. Nice. That's, that's quicker than I can plan a naval invasion for this place. So... Gonna form a massive front line there, <laughs> uh, but also, you know, we'll start putting the planning in, and the cavalry. Go on, let's have a massive naval invasion of German cavalry. This is how it should be done. We can land there, 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 and there, and it'll be off. That'll be a laugh. <laughs> Let's do it. I don't think that'll take the entire army. I don't think I've got the uh, capacity for that. 84 days. Ah, we'll probably be in before that kicks off then. And these guys. Uh, let's have an offensive line. Oh, I hate it when he goes through the sea. It looks terrible. We might as well get that. Do you know what? This cavalry army, forget uh, the, forget that order, forget that order. I've got a better one. 
Uh, let's uh, select half the units. Naval invasion from there to Stockholm. And that'll get in a lot faster. And then we'll just follow in. That's a bit of a brutal, a brutal attempt to go straight in with cavalry as well. Seahorses. We'll see how that works. Uh, I don't think I'm going to lose much if it doesn't. Do I still have any aircraft doing silly things? They're okay. We've got a lot there. Pilot exercises. Right, forget that. Let's put you straight onto this. Kingdom of Romania is in an unfortunate position. It cedes, uh, be cedes Bessarabia to the Soviet Union. Okay. I thought that was going to be the Hungary Transylvania thing. But, uh... Hmm, that's not good. That's not good. We kind of knew it was happening, but it's still not good. Right, so we've got eight. Oh, hang on. Let me just sort out these garrisons. Otherwise, this is going to be a mess. We'll start from the top. Make sure I've got all this. Yeah, you know, I'm tempted to put one division just in there. Just because... Man, if they land, I don't lose the planes. The planes just retreat, don't they? So that's okay. I'm thinking I might lose that entire air force in there if I if I don't. But uh, it'll be right. Right, there's a, there is a dock there, isn't there? Does it actually say Naval Base 8? And is it Rotterdam? Naval Base 10 or the Hague? It's Rotterdam that they need to be in. I think you can actually just... There is a way, isn't there? Hang on, which is this one? Naval base 8. That's, is that all one territory? Yes, it is. Good. This has no naval base. Hamburg does. Naval base 1. 2 in Kiel. 2 at the top of there. I think we're safe there. I think we're within the... Uh, the sea lines where they can't invade if we off if we have both both ends of it, but you never know, so I'm not gonna chance right. me luck. Copenhagen is definitely one to hold. Okay. I've got two here. Maybe I've miscounted, so we'll put two there. I've probably been overly uh, overly okay. protective of my lands. But we can shift things around afterwards. Did I oh right, okay, let me go back into this. I don't think I adjusted my template for the subs, did I? They're building these things. Oh, I haven't put these on a flipping... Doesn't matter, actually, because I'm going to just recreate it. I haven't put those on a port, and they'll end up all over the place. I like to assign ships a port to be created in so I can find them easily afterwards. Uh, where are we? Submarine hull. Modify that to... Did we get better torpedo launchers? No, it was the ship ones. Okay, I wasn't sure if it, it was a generic torpedo tube level, so that's okay. We don't need to modify that anymore. If in that case, we will put that. Yeah, let's put them where I can find them all, actually. Let's stick them over here. That'll be better. All future ones. Take a look at the Navy. We have got a mine submarine there. Put that in action. Two more strike subs. They need to be trained up. So let's just put them straight into training. Uh, is there anything else kicking around? Big fleet, which is going to do nothing for now. They're mining busily. I feel like I'm losing those. And the escorts. The escorts are fine. Shall I put them into the English Channel? See, we're getting. it looks like we're getting sea control of this. Right, we maybe need to have an army planning for the invasion of Britain here. I wish I had some marines. I haven't got the capacity to develop them just yet. If we're going to go, we're going to go from these ports. Or, right, okay, let's get Rommel's army into action. Give me... 
Get everything up here, please. We'll go from... We'll go from here. Ha. All right. Let's see. I need more motorized troops. And that's where the cavalry could be done. But it's going to be a while before we get that. But that's going to be, I think, our pathway into Britain. But we're going to work that over as best we can. Yeah, it's gone yellow, which is good. It's an area that Britain doesn't always watch so well. So we'll see if we can take advantage of that. Have I got any more aircraft that I can create? I must have something that I can put up. Any long-range interwar bombers? Not enough. Not enough. But anyway, we'll, we'll make this 100. Um, okay, they're going to deploy... They're going to deploy there. That's okay. I could probably put them... Put them up there. I'll put them on training orders as well. The plan is coming together. Back with T. What time is it? Half five. Uh, okay, so things are ticking on a bit. We've taken a bit of a different route to um, the rest of Germany. We've still, I need to research that. It's 53 days away. Seaplanes. Are we are we losing out on seaplanes? Unassigned divisions. Where? What's unassigned? What's unassigned? One division of this thing. Okay, we've got the new stuff to come and garrison. We've got eight of these. Excellent. Uh, travel up here and then get over to Norway. And we'll sort them out from there. I think we're just waiting for permission to go to war with Sweden now. AI Britain like the UK government. Yeah, we don't care about the North. That sounds about right. King Carol II abdicates, pressured by powerful elements in his government. King Carol II of Romania saw no choice but to announce and sign his abdication. His successor is King Michael, but many of the dictatorial powers obtained by Carol have been vested back into the government, and so it is unlikely that the young king will be able to wield similar power as his predecessor. Following his abdication, Carol appears to have emptied his expansive bank accounts and has fled into exile, taking up residence in one of Mexico City's more expensive neighbourhoods with his mistress, Magda Lupescu. Sounds fun. Italian-German Technology Treaty. Italy suggests an exchange of technology and ideas that will bring our nations closer and make us both stronger. An excellent suggestion. Yeah, okay. I'll take that. I'll take that. I can declare war against who? I can invite to faction. Um, yes. Yes, let's, let's invite to faction. Send. They'll get into a war with, like, everybody, but, you know, it's their choice. Okay. Hang on, what is this? Oh, I've got allies' plans on. Let me turn turn that off. I don't need to see all that nonsense. Hang on, who is in my faction, by the way? How do we see? How do we see leader of the Axis? Is it on this? Yeah, Hungary's in. Legion of Romania are in, but I'm not going to call them to action. They'll they'll join when they're ready. They'll join. Vichy France, what are they losing? I'll go and check on them. If I can invade Britain, not Britain out of the war. I mean, Italy's doing a pretty good job. They can fight over that all they want. Italy can sort that out. That is a horrible, tangled mess to fight through with no supplies and railways or anything. I'll leave them to that. I'll uh, focus on Northern Europe. Ah, I see. This bit here. It's okay. We can we can deal with that for now. We're going to have these boys to worry about before too much longer. How about the... Uh, what's the status here? Did it say de is a declare war? Did it say how long? We are justifying against them though. So where's the... Um, 16th of January. Not long. Not long. Excellent. We have things in position. Okay. 
We really need more armies. Excellent. This is what we wanted. So we've got that. We could go straight into this one. 75 days to research it. Not a huge amount of point of building a lot of them if we're going to build some better ones. What else is kind of urgent at the moment? I mean, the basic 1940s one are, are okay. I don't, I don't feel... Actually, we're not at 1940s, are we? <laughs> hmm. Naval Doctrine. That's what I want to go down to. That's okay for the moment. That would help. Oh, I, don't, I know what I need. I do know what I need. I want uh, logistics companies. Let's get that one going. No benefits for that, but I... Oh, no bonus, research bonus for that, but I want that to go. I'm a brave man doing sea lion. I haven't got the forces in position to do it at the moment. I need to kind of... I mean, they've got an army here, which doesn't... Probably doesn't need to be. But, I mean, it, knocking Britain out of the war before America gets in will be, will be huge. We're doing Sweden just for the tungsten supplies. It's probably more efficient to trade with them for it. Improved oil processing. That's nice. All right, let's find something else. We are gradually getting onto that. Uh, jet engines, nuclear stuff. There's just so much stuff I want to do. Marines. We've got to think about the invasion of Canada as well. We kind of, we kind of want to invade Canada before America gets involved in any sort of war. We're in January. Let's have some Panzer Fours. Let's go for that. And I'll worry about my um, overseas plans in a moment. Okay, I think we're just waiting to kick off in Sweden. I can't think of anything else that desperately needs seeing to. I've got eight divisions coming over here. What's this? Hey, submarines are doing some work out there. Good work as well. I feel like I should have more subs at this point. I guess I've put a lot into the mine fleets. Let's switch that over. I've got maybe a few too many producing mine laying submarines. Which are very good. I could build some dockyards pretty cheaply though, couldn't I? What have we got? We've got various radar installations and other things going off which will help with various things okay i'm gonna leave it i'm gonna leave that for now i've kind of ignored the economy a little bit we'll put that right it is only 1940 there's a lot happened in a short space of time Ooh, i don't like that i don't like the sea control color there that's better well, that's better look we, we could actually invade we won't be doing it with the rommel's little army but we could actually invade from there I need some forces. Let's spend some XP. Let's go into this. Let's duplicate this. Right. New divisions. We're going to call this 1941 Infantry. So I can keep track of when we've created it and which one's new. Um, am I going to do something different with it? Yeah, I probably will a little bit. We'll add in... What can we add into this? We will put in support anti-tank. But do I want to add anything else, really? Recon's quite beneficial, isn't it? For movement. Go on, I'll add recon in as well. Alright, I'm going to create a, a new army of this. We've still got other stuff on the mend. That's my garrison stuff. Panzer divisions. I'll put these guys on priority for everything. But I will... These, not so much. Um, yeah, go on. I'm going to have an army of 24. I, I, need, I need more men, so... A full army. We'll create them. Dortmund. There we go. Set them off training. I mean, I'll, I'll have some forces freed up from this 
conquest. So, do we want to conquer Finland? What's in Finland? A bit of chromium and a bit of steel. It gives us a good border, an extra border to attack the Soviets from. So, yes, I guess we should. I guess we should. Manpower. I would like that to be a bit higher. Hmm. Justification of conquering Scania for the German Reich is finished. Here we go, folks. Wish me luck. Let's go and uh, get some other records. The air doctrine research. I do need to... Go. I, need, I need to... Yes, I need to catch up on everything. I'm trying to do all the branches all at once. And I need to maybe focus a bit more on some aspects. Anyway, declare war. Conquer. Oh, it already was selected. Send. All right, pink guys, off you go. Blue guys. Off you go. Attack, 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 attack. Well, Sweden's joined the Allies. There's no great surprise there. Is your naval invasion ready? Seven days, and we're going to land and take Stockholm from the rear. <laughs> it's a cunning plan, my lord. A very cunning plan. Hmm, there's some of this fighting in the mountains. They've got uh, quite a bit of stuff up there. So what we're going to do... Is cut them off somewhere. There'll be some movement I can get through there, I think. They've put everything on their border right across there. That's okay. Fighting through the mountains will be costly, but, I mean, it's... It's not an important region, really, up there. We're in down here, which is excellent. Let them just go for it. The planes will move to support, I think. The cavalry is going in. If we go, if we land and take the capital, that will very quickly switch things in our favour, I think. So, and what I don't want is a long, costly war slogging through the mountains. But if we get this finished fairly fast, I'll just... I'm going to do this. Hang on. Uh, let's add this. This is going to be the Norwegian army. We'll put it in the garrison section. Well, it'll, it'll cover both. Put the obligatory crap commander in. So we're going to have one. Uh, I must remember to leave the last two where they are. Bergen. And... Trondheim. And I'll, I think I've got more recruiting to go and defend in the north. Those are the sea zones, because they're, they're adjacent to this. Those are sea zones that the Allies will land at, whereas Sweden, that's not so big an issue at all, I'm happy to say. Should we call Expeditionary Force from Hungary? We'll be fine. Right then, are my ships going... Are you going to sea? I did click on go for it, but nothing seems to be... Did I not click? 